we're going to go to the Lord in prayer, realizing and knowing that we do need the Lord today. Not only do we go in prayer to him knowing that we need the Lord, but we go in prayer this morning realizing that, that there is no other help we know. We go in prayer realizing that he has all power. Can I get a witness this morning? We go to him in prayer this morning realizing that he has all power in his hand. Bless his name. We go to prayer this morning realizing that he is a prayer answering God. How many know for themselves that he's a prayer answering God? How many know for themselves that he's a prayer answering God? He's a prayer answering God. Hallelujah. Going to him in prayer realizing that he is our help. He is our hope. He is our all in all. If anyone has any special requests, you can make them known now and we'll take it to the Lord together in prayer. We'll take it to the Lord in prayer. We want to continue to pray for ourselves. We want to continue to pray for ourselves and see the world of church that God will continue to be in the midst of us. Can I get a witness? How many know we need him to stay in the midst of us? We can't do this by ourselves. Can I get a witness? We need God to stay in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Ain't no big eyes and no little U's. We need God in the midst of us. That's the only way we're going to make it through. Hallelujah. Any prayer request that we want to make known, continue to pray for. Yes, ma'am, mom. All right, your knees. Amen. Mm. Okay, your niece. Amen. Mom wants prayer for her niece today. Amen. God is a healer, though. I said God is a healer. Amen. Isn't he a healer? Hallelujah. We're going to lift her up in prayer. Healing. I said, tell her, he's like, oh, God, we claim, claim and healing. Amen. 
Amen. In Jesus' name, we claim healing. Amen. But we miss her. Amen. As well. So we want to lift her up. Amen. In prayer today, Mother. Amen. Amen. The household, the whole household. Amen. We pray for every household. Amen. We pray. We pray for and we claim in every household. Amen. That the devil will lose his clutches and will set them free. Amen. In Jesus' name. Any more, any other, any other. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, this morning we come. Lord, saying thank you. Saying thank you. We thank you this morning, O Heavenly Father, for your goodness. We thank you this morning for your grace. We thank you for your unmerited favor. That grace and that twin of mercy that goes along with us and that follows us each and every day, each and every step, every essence, every time, every opportunity of our life. We have those two twins going about us and seeing for us when we can't see for ourselves and going before us when we can't go before ourselves. We thank you for grace this morning. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for salvation this morning, which is so rich and so free. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, this morning for life, health, and strength. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Closing us in our right minds with a portion of health and strength that we do have. We may, not, we may not be our best, but yet this morning we are blessed. We're blessed nevertheless with our aches, with our pains. We're, we're blessed nevertheless with our little pinches and our little uh, sores. But Lord, we know that if not for you, we wouldn't be able this morning. We wouldn't have been able to get up out of that bed. We wouldn't have been able to put one foot before the other. We wouldn't have been able to open our mouth. We wouldn't have been able to have anything to, to bring out of our mouth. No voice to speak or any, no form of word coming out of our mouth. But Lord, you, you blessed us this morning. You touched us with your finger of love and you gave us one more day. Gave us one more opportunity. One more opportunity, yes, one more opportunity to give your name the glory and to give your name the praise. Yes, Certainly we realized, we realized that, oh God, it is essential for us to give your name the praise today because you are worthy, number one, of it. Yes. Number one, Lord, we realize that you are worthy of the praise this morning. Yes. You're worthy of all of our praise. Whatever we can muster, whatever we can give you, Lord, we know that you're worthy of all our praise today. So with the good sense that we have and with the portion of health and strength that we have, we made it here, made it out to your house of worship. Yes, yes. We made it here yet another Sunday, another Sabbath day, oh God, to bring your name glory and to give your name the praise. Lord, because we realize that you deserve it, not only that you deserve it, but Lord, your word tells us you inhabit the praises of your people. Your word tells us this morning that you inhabit the praises of your people. So God, with the fruit of our mouths, Lord, we come to praise your name this morning. Heavenly Master, we come this morning with the fruit of our hands to give your name the praise and to clap our hands to tell you hallelujah and thank you one more day. Yes, we come this morning not only to lift our hands and to raise our voices, but Lord, we thank you that we can stand up on two good legs and shout hallelujah because you were you are. You're worthy of the praise. So we come into your house this morning and we come to say thank you to you because we know that it's only you that can and has opened our eyes one more day to give us a new day to see. Lord, we thank you. We ask this morning, yes, we ask this morning, Lord, that you move about the sanctuary, touch, oh God, your people right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we need, yes, a touch from you, yes, we do, the one thing we have in common this morning, is that for whatever my need is, whatever my sister's need is, Say that we 
lost can be found. And know that when they enter in here, they can find the help they need. Do it for us, Lord, by your power. The power is not in us. The power is in you. you. For you have all power in your hands. Do it for us, we pray. Keep us in the sin of your will. Lastly, we ask that your will be done. Your will be done. It's in Jesus' precious name. I said it's in Jesus' precious name. It's in your darling son Jesus' name we pray. Let our heart put your hands together and say amen. I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you. God is, I swore that shield, but that shield is a no. Amen. But um, amen, we're going to do what it takes to, to make sure that we are, uh, to make sure that we are, uh, we safe. Amen. We're going to do what we got to do to make sure we safe. That's right. Now, where did mine just go? I did it. I think I snatched you up by that stick. <laughs> you snatched me up? I snatched my body. Yeah, that's how I right here. I told you I had it, mama. <laughs> I got a bunch of them, amen. For just this cause, amen, my friend, Pastor Haley. <clears throat> is, uh, is my sister's wife. She uh, she sells them. She, she does them. And so uh, um, I'm going to try to see... I'm going to get what I had a little thought. I'm going to talk more about it this afternoon in our little, uh, little session this afternoon. But they, uh, she make them, but uh, we can get some for, for us. Amen. Amen. See the pros. Amen. I'm always looking for the, y'all find out, I'm, I'm always looking ahead. Amen. <laughs> I'm trying to see for what we what's the next thing, amen. amen. We can ask the Lord to help us do together, amen. 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 So we're gonna look into that um, because they have they do them at their church. I think we only um, ask the uh, members to uh, for, for ten dollars. I think it's ten dollars he asked for. So we go out there, we pay ten and fifteen and twenty for something we bought out there on the street. Amen. So I like y'all ain't bought none. Amen. Y'all ain't bought nothing. Y'all ain't bought nothing. Nobody bought no 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 mask out there on the street. Nobody. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I have. Amen. Y'all done bought them. Amen. Oh, and you done paid twenty dollars for it too. <laughs> Mama said, not me. <laughs> amen. <laughs> I done paid twenty. Amen. I gotta tell the truth. Amen. It was Dallas, man. I went on and bought it, Mama. Man. I, it was Dallas. I had to have it. Amen. That yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> might say no. Nah. Right. But amen. Um, I'm going to look into that, see what we can do, and it be a blessing for us. Amen. 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 Represent our church. Amen. 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 Uh, the Bible says this. The Bible says, Will a man rob God? Amen. That's what the Bible says. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, Yeah, a man will rob God. Yes. Yeah. Yet he has robbed me. How with have we robbed thee? Yeah. He said in tithes and in offerings. Mm -hmm. He said, for this you're cursed. You're cursed with a curse. Yeah. Even the whole generation. He said, prove me now we with said the Lord post that if I would not open the window of heaven, pour you out a blessing. Right. That you shall not have room enough to receive. Yeah. Then it skips over in the gospels, it says. Upon the first day of the week, let every man lay by him in store that which God has prospered him. Yes. Some sixty, some eighty, some a hundredfold blessings that men shall reap unto his bosom. But we pray and then we asking God for a hundredfold blessings. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Because the salutation suggests you can't be God giving right. no matter how hard you try. Yeah. The more you give, yeah. the more he gives to you. Just keep on giving. Don't stop. Because it's really true. You can't be God. 
giving, no matter how hard you try. We want to honor the Lord this morning with our gifts, our financial gifts, amen. Um, I know we know, but for the one that may not know, but I think we all home to this house, so the church, is, the church is ran by the free will give of us, the people of God, amen. I said the church is ran by the free will gift, amen, of us, the people of God. Amen. It is ours to take care of our house. Amen. Take care of our home. We, we you know, uh, the Bible said charity begin at home. Amen. And then spreads a problem. With our gifts that we have them ready, we lift them to the Lord this morning. We want to ask his blessings directly on them. Amen. How many give it with a cheerful heart this morning? Hallelujah. Amen. You truly give it with a cheerful heart? Amen. He says, God love a cheerful giver. Amen. Yes. Father, with these gifts, we give to you. Lord, we give, even as your word tells us, good. Press down, shake it down, they're running over. You said, men will give to our bosom. Receive these gifts now as we give to you. Father, you gave to us, so we give back to you, O oh God. I pray even now that as we give, that each one gives according to you and what you required of us is the stewards, good stewards. Father, we pray that this money, these blessings that we give to you, to your house, would be for the furtherance of the upkeep the up and the working of this, your work here on this side of joy, Father, that it will be blessed. Help me bless each one that is giving today to not miss it. Give it back to them, I pray. In your name, I pray, Father. Not let them even miss that, that they gave it to you because you're going to restore back to them. But the gifts we give to you is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Every heart 
God said amen. amen. And amen. Let's sing a part of that he's playing this morning. Let's sing that together as a people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
just be in the house of prayer this morning. Uh, just thanking God for all of his benefits towards us. Amen. For his saving grace and for his love divine to us. Amen. We're not going to be with us long at all. <clears throat> Amen. Not going to be long at all. But we have a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Acts. The book of Acts. Acts of the Apostles. Right after St. John. Good job. You had it, Doug. I heard it. with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they heard, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of, to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the, man, which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they stood looking steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you, and to heaven shall come, so come in like manner, as ye have seen him go into heaven. Then return they into Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day journey. And when they were come in, they went into an upper room where both, both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas and Bartholomew, Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus and Simon, Zealots, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued 
with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. God bless you. Thank you so much for your audience to the respect to the reading of the of God's word. I do believe this to be the word of God. I presented to us this morning in that fashion. I embrace the words of the gospel writer when he records before one jot or one tittle of this word shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of our God, somebody say the word of our God. Word of our God. The word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. And I believe that to be so. If you believe that with me, amen, let's give a, just give a wave offering like this to God and say, even this day. Even this day. Even this day. Y'all all right up here? Y'all want to come down? It's on y'all, amen. I want you comfortable, amen. Amen. In the reading of that, this account, this morning, this passage of the scripture I just read, the book of Acts, Amen. I want you to ponder, keep your mind on this, to start with the subject, simply suggesting the promise, the promise, the promise. Somebody asked you, but did your preacher preach about this Sunday? You tell him the Sunday he talked about was the promise. The promise. I had to tell you to go check on something. <laughs> we all are familiar with that word, that simple word, promise. Yes, sir. It's a word that is in our English language. We use it. Uh, we use it carelessly, we use it without without thought, without real perspective at times to it, but yeah. it's a word that should be used much more unrecklessly as we use it. Right. Right. Can I get a witness? Yeah. The word itself means something. Yes, a promise is something sacred. Right. It should be sacred. Right. A promise is something dear. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. When you suggest the word or use the word promise, it's in the uh, it's in the perspective of when you use it, you're trying to make uh, someone have an assurity that what you're suggesting is that what you mean and are going to do. Can I get a witness? Now, you know, I'll ask you, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people use it recklessly. Amen, amen. A lot of people use it without the real thought of what the word truly means. How do you say, why do you say that, Bishop? Well, because we put it on things that we don't necessarily have to put it on in some all right, cases. All right, all right. But we just use it because we know that it's a word in our English vernacular that will sometimes aid us. Watch what I said. I said aid us yeah. in some matters of when the point we think to use it yeah. is needful for our opportunity or for our 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 better better case scenario. We use it because we believe that when we say it to a person, yeah. that they think that we mean what we say. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. Many people, Mama Richardson, use it and they know they lying before they say it. Amen, amen. I promise. You stop. <laughs> stop right now. Because you ain't promising nothing. All right, all right. But that lie you're telling me by putting promise on. Yeah. But the word promise, watch this, is a statement of perspective it's a word, it's a perspective, it's a it's a thought, it's a perspective that 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 when it's used in its proper format, it can change the very outlook of any situation. Right, right, right. It's 
one of those I call wonderful words. There are words that God gave us in our English language that are wonderful words to be able to say, speak, and use because of what they mean in their essence. Show you how special the word promise or the perspective of promise is. Man standing here, woman standing next to him. She's all beautiful and dolled up in the most prettiest way she can present herself in a gown. He's got on his 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 dust, he got on his tuxedo, his shoes are shiny, you can see himself in them. Yeah. Both sides of the pews are filled with family and friends. Are you with me? Yes, sir. They done spent a whole lot of money. Yes, sir. Just to stand here before God and the company, before a preacher, and saying they promise to love, honor, and cherish. Are you with me? One another, watch this, not for no little mediocre period of time, forever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understand it. They promise. That's fun. I appreciate it. The promise Jesus gave to his disciples this particular passage of scripture. I want you to note something. Two things. It was a promise that only, number one, watch this, that he could give. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. It's a promise. That only Jesus could give. And then the second part is, we're going to jump into it real quick. The second part of it is, it's only a promise that only Jesus can make come to pass. That part I really love. I love that it's a promise that only he can make. But I love it even more so that it's only a promise that when he only can run can make it. But he's the only one that can bring it all right, all right. to pass. All right. Now, to show you what I'm talking about, he tells them the two, it's a two-fold perspective like I just gave you. Only he can make it. And only as he can make it, he's the only one that can bring it to pass. Verse 4 opens up the perspective of the promise. Yes, sir. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait. Yes, sir. Somebody say wait. wait. Don't go to Jerusalem, but yeah, wait. Wait. Wait, wait. For the promise of the Father. All right, all right. Which said he Ye have heard of me, yes. but here's the promise. For John truly baptized you with water. Yes. Here's the promise. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost yes. not many days yes. hence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Twofold perspective of this promise. Yes, sir. Promise he gives them first of all is to say, he took them in that upper room. If we recall our scripture, and he told them that he was not going to always be with them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fact of the matter, he was preparing them yeah. for his exodus. Yeah. Right. He's preparing them, Melvin, for his uh, his his his, his uh, soon to be exodus from them back <clears throat> to glory. All right. To heaven, yes. back to his throne, yes. next to his father yes. in glory. Yes. The throne that he vacated to come down into a sin cursed world. Yes. To do a deed that was ours to have been done for ourselves, but he took the he took the shame, he took the pain. Yes, 
Why so, John? That for whosoever believeth in him should not perish. They got a choice and have everlasting life. Yes, sir. The promise, twofold perspective, but he gave them the first part of the of the promise here, and I like how he prepped it for them because he told them, "I'm not going. I'm not. I've been telling you. I've been as we've been walking the countryside. I've been healing and healing the he, healing sick folk. I've been healing the healing the lame and opening up the deaf and dumb, the stopped up ears, and you know, I'm opening the blinded eyes. And I've been feeding far, far. I've been feeding the thousands of thousands. And I, I, I've been I've been teaching the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. I've been I've been telling everybody." I've been, and sit down in the, in the temple and I had to get the scribes and the Pharisees together with the doctrine. They had it all wrong, and I had to let them know that it was if that that salvation coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And now all that I told you, just like I told you when I've been walking around with you, did you remember that I told you a time is going to come that I'm going to have to leave you? Do you remember? I will not be with you always. Yes, sir. Well, that time has come. Mm -hmm. My beloved brethren, this time, the time has come. Yes. I endured the cross. I, I, I came out. Father rolled the stone for me. The angels moved. I stepped down the resurrection ground. All power is in my hands. It's time for me to go back to my Father and regain my throne in glory. But remember when I told you that I would not be with you always. And the fact of that I will not be with you always relates to the fact that it's expedient that I go. Brother, I need you to hear me when I tell you if I gotta go, it's not because I don't love you. Matter of fact, I got I'm going because I love you. I came and did the first part of what my daddy sent me here to do. I paid redemption's price. I gave man a new lease of life. Now it's time to go back to glory. Be rejoined with my father. Get back on my throne. On the side of my father in glory. Yes, yes. I told you I wouldn't be with you always. And I need you to understand it's expedient that I go. It's so expedient that if I don't go, what I have for you in the first portion of the promise, you will not receive it. Yeah. If I stay. See, I, I gotta go. It's expedient. It's it's travailing. I I gotta go. Because if I don't go, I will not be able to send you the other comforter. And see, this, this comforter that I'm going to send you, he's going to do a little bit more for you in what I did, but he's going to take you the rest of the way. He's going to do what for you? He's going to lead you and he's going to guide you, bless his name, through all He's gonna do what I'm not gonna do. Amen. If I was here, I would, but since I know that it's time for me to get back, I'm gonna give you just what you need to maintain it and to take this world over for Jesus, for my father. I gotta go. So we see the first part of the promise unveiled. He says. John indeed baptized you mm. with water. Mm. But ye shall be baptized yes. with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Not many days hence. Yes. The Holy Ghost, but ye shall receive, yes. verse 8, power. Yes. After that, that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea 
and in Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. This first part of the promise, my brethren, I gotta give you. Because if I don't give it to you, I can't, I can't go because all that I would have been sent here to do would not have been completed. But I, I gotta go, and in my leaving you, I'm gonna leave you with the best thing I could ever offer you. I'm gonna give you not only a comforter, but I'm going to give you a keeper. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah, he says I'm going to give you a comforter, but this comforter is going to be more than just a comforter. For he shall, in, he shall indeed be power. He's not only going to be a comforter, he's going to be a keeper, and he's going to give you some power. Some power that you're going to need that as you take the word of the kingdom of heaven, letting the world know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, is going to give you power that you're going to need because you're going to come into some hard situations. Everywhere you go, you're not going to be received joyfully. Everywhere you go and talk about me, you're not going to always be happy to hear you. They're going to have something that's going to turn a deaf ear. They're going to suffer. It is power. Can I get a witness? Yeah. It's power that gives you power in the midst of any situation. It's power that will help you stand even in the evil day. And how much we know that we need that power working with us and through us now because we're showing sure up living in some evil day. Can I hear the witness this morning? But aren't you glad to know that he gave us a promise that told us I'm going to send you a, another comforter. And he shall lead you and guide you through all truth. But as he got ready to go away, as he got ready to go away, he came and he stood before them. And he began to ascend. Yes, yes. He began to ascend in their midst. Uh -huh. And as he began to ascend, they began to just look at him as he was ascending before their very eyes. Yes. Verse 9 says, And when he had spoken these things, yes. while they beheld him going up in their midst, he was taken up and a cloud received him. Yes. Can you imagine? He's standing there telling them, I'm about to leave you, brethren. Hallelujah. But I'm going to send you the other comforter. Hallelujah. He's going to lead you and guide you through all truth. Yes. But like I told you a little while ago, I'm about to do what I told you I was going to do. I'm going to go away. Yes, sir. And as I away, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. Yes, yes. But as I leave you, I'm going to make sure that the promise of the Father you do have. Yes. Tia says, and while he was looking, they were looking steadfastly toward heaven. As he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, yes. which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing, which is to him that is taken up into heaven? This same Jesus. Can I get a witness this morning? They said, this same Jesus, which is taken up before you into heaven, shall also come in like man. Second part of the promise was that just like he went up in your faith and before them, he's coming back in like matter. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you glad that he gave the promise? Yeah. Aren't you glad that he gave you, gave us the promise? Because he gave us the promise, we have something to look forward to. Can I get a witness? If he had not gave them the promise today, we would not have nothing to look forward to for him to come back. You see, if he never had went away, he would have no reason.
and mama to come back. That's why I like the second part of the promise because the second part of the promise said, and if I go, yeah, and prepare a place for you, this is the promise, here you go. I will come back, I'm done, I'm done, and receive you unto myself. Yes, that the way Let her be holy still. 
thirsty. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. We want the promise of the Father. How many want the rest? How many want the promise of the Father to rest upon your life? Hallelujah. How many truly want the promise of the Lord to the Master to rest upon your life today? Hallelujah. Bless his name. The promise. I will not leave you comfortless. I'm going to send you another comforter. He will guide you. He's going to take you the rest of the way. Hallelujah. He's going to lead and guide you through all truth. And secondly, it's expedient that I go. I told you when I came, I wasn't going to be with you always. I gave you a template to go by. Come in Matthew 28. Go ye therefore. This is what my mission was to commission you. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. And lo, I'm with you. Not in the physical, but in the spiritual. Lo, I'm with you. Yes, yes. Always. Yes, yes. Even till the end yes. of the earth. Yes, yes. How many thank God for the promise today? Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the promise. Yes. The promise that you gave to your disciples. Yes. Even them some thousand odd years ago. You gave him that promise then, yes, Lord. and it's a promise that is still with us even now. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the promise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for not leaving us yes, Lord. to our own devices. Yes, yes. Thank you for not leaving us you, to our own mindset you, of doing it the way we think it ought to be done. Amen. But you gave us the blueprints. Amen. You told us what to do, how to do, and where to do. Amen. It's just as simple for us to just do it. Yes, Thank you for the promise. Thank you, Lord. Thank, you. Thank you for the promise that even when you went away, you reassured us as you went out of this sight, the disciples, the angels told them, this same Jesus yes. that you see going into heaven. She'll come back yes, yes. in like manner. Yes, yes. And Father, even as Stephen said, when the P Paul was holding the coats of those that stoned him, before life left his body, he looked into glory and he saw you standing on the cloud. Yes, yes. And he said, even so, come Lord Jesus. Yes.